Hey everyone, this is Elias from Ravmatch Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Mercedes Sprinter 2500 cargo van. Yeah, I never thought I'd review one of these, but uh, it was actually a pretty pleasant surprise. Well, let's go ahead and get this review delivered to you. Let's get started. We get started in the front and uh, yeah, I'm actually matching this color. Yeah, it's called the Brilliant Blue color. It's nice. There's some other options as well, which are really nice as well, but I, I like this blue as you can tell. But yeah, we have this front end. Headlights don't expect anything, you know, really exciting. Uh, they're just light bulbs, you know, conventional bulbs. You're not gonna get any HIDs. You're not gonna get LEDs. They're just, get the road illuminated. That's it. And they work fine. And then we have this massive front end, which is in plastic, unpainted, which is fine. Obviously with this being a work truck, you don't want things to hit it. And then you're having to repair like you would, um, you know, paint or anything like that. But yeah, it's a big front end. We do have the, the front facing camera, which is part of the whole uh, 360 degree view system that this has. And it's incredible. It's so easy to park this thing because of that camera system. And inside that screen is really nice. All the different views you have. It's been a breeze to get this big guy parked wherever you need it to go. And as you can tell, this thing is really tall and that's because this has the tall roof option. So it's even taller. So I am going to cheat because there is a lot of numbers to this thing. So this specific model, uh, is going to be 107 inches tall because again it has the the tall roof option but yeah it's not too bad it's it's just a big van oh this windshield i love i love because it is massive you have so much visibility uh in this van it's incredible well let's go ahead and see what we have under this hood you get under the hood and you have the 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel. It is cranking out 188 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. It is connected to the seven speed auto and then going to the rear wheels. Now, a couple of things with this. So there are some different configurations for the uh, Sprinter. You do have a four cylinder option. You do have a six cylinder gas option and you also have this V6 turbo diesel and um, you also have the rear wheel power as well as the 4x4 option uh, for this as well and uh, so 4x4 you do require the turbo diesel this has been smooth it's been it's been smooth you do hear the turbo spool a little bit uh, you take a look at this and it actually doesn't look as cramped as I thought it would be uh, the engine does sit kind of low um, which may attribute to how much of a smooth ride this this has you know the power the weight is is kind of low um you see the top mounted turbo i saw you know we have the def fill here we have uh the coolant here we have brake fluid there we have computer uh ecu there um oil here so yeah <laughs> so if you're looking at this for a fleet vehicle it looks like your basic maintenance stuff is easy to get to. I think I see the oil filter right on top of there too. So it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, so if you have any downtime, it would be for maintenance things. It's going to get fixed really easy or you can get to these main components fairly quickly and fairly easily. Um, yeah. And air filter obviously up top there as well. Um, but yeah, the transmission has been smooth. The power delivery has been nice, you know, down, down below uh, power with the, with the diesel and then a little bit higher when that uh, turbo kicks in. So it's been a nice, smooth uh, power delivery. And yeah, it's actually been pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what we have in those wheels and tires. We get down to the wheel and tire package and we have the 16 inch steel wheel and it is wrapped in the 245 75 Michelin tire. Now, this setup has been really smooth. It's not noisy at all. It's, you know, absorbs the bumps. Um, 
and the suspension has been great as well to my surprise because this is the 2500 usually you have higher payloads uh, which means you have to typically have stiffer suspension and you sacrifice a little bit of of kind of ride performance but not in this this has been really really good i've driven comfort cars or luxury cars that haven't driven as good as this or have felt as smooth as this it's crazy and again this is completely empty so it's not loaded up uh, which is typically again when we're dealing with heavier duty uh, suspension systems is when you feel it the worst but this has been really good the brakes are really nice as well so you can really get this big guy stopped um, so the pedal just been really really nice um, but yeah overall this has been nice I love this steel wheel because it kind of reminds me of like the 80s, the Mark II uh, Volkswagens uh, that came with steel wheels. That was that was a little project I would have liked to have uh, built myself, um, Mark II uh, Volkswagen with some nice steel wheels. But uh, yeah, these guys aren't too bad. Let's go ahead and see what we have, not on this side, but actually on the other side. We get to the side and... Uh, this thing is massive so i am gonna have to cheat because there is a lot you know get my things because there is a lot of information i want to give you guys regarding the dimensions of this thing it's huge so tall it is 107.3 inches tall yeah wheelbase this is the 170 inch uh, wheelbase option um yeah, <laughs> there's a shorter one, um, but 170 is the longest wheelbase. Now, the length of this one is 274 inches long. Yeah, the thing is, is insane. It did not fit in my driveway. So I actually had, it was, I think my driveway is like 250. So I did have about 20 uh, inches hanging over. Yeah, it, it was insane. So it's been parked across the street from me. And uh, the funniest thing is, everyone just thinks someone's delivering something yeah so uh it's been pretty hilarious but this has the high the, the high roof there is an option right at that crease right here <laughs> right there um to for the standard roof so that's the standard roof height but this one has the taller roof go with the taller roof it makes a huge difference that you're in there and you're comfortably uh, able to stand up but yeah uh, and again, there is an extended version, which is even further. I think that was like 280 something uh, inches for that. But yeah, it's insane. Oh, and the width wise, it's 92 inches wide with the mirrors. Yeah. So including the mirrors, that's what we get. Um, but yeah, it's, it's big. Couple of things. So with this being the cargo van, these panels are completely covered. So obviously we don't want people to be peeking in if you're carrying um, merchandise or you know product or tools, things like that. So this does get covered up. There is different things with the Sprinter. So we have the, um, the cargo van, which is again, just completely storage area essentially here. Then we have the crew uh, van, which that gives us a glass on this panel here and this is still covered my favorite because you still get a couple of people here so you do get a bench back here which i'll show you where but you do have the privacy for your cargo back here then you have the passenger van that is if you really need to haul everyone and both of these panels would be glass so yeah this whole thing would essentially be glass yeah, <laughs> it's big, it's massive. The wheels, love them, love the steel wheels. They're good size. You can get different suspensions uh, for this. Uh, you can go a little bit taller uh, with, with bigger wheels and tires as well um, for the four x four, I believe, uh, model. But yeah, it's nice. I like this blue, I really do. Now, I do have the Q fob in my pocket. <sighs> yeah, you can't really, it's not gonna actually open up because yeah, it doesn't have a proximity sensor like you would in every, everything else. So I'll go ahead and unlock it. And yeah, you can go ahead. As you can see, it's a big door. It's got a nice low step here um, before you go into the uh, cab itself, which I really like that there. Then we have this. So you are, so this one doesn't have the electric 
rolling door, but you can get one. So you can get a power door, um, just press the button and it'll move it back. But uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's massive. You can really shove anything in there. And again, I like that the step is nice and low. So you are able to just kind of hop in here. We have this nice little handle and basically get everything in here through here or through the back doors. So let me go ahead and show you the back side. The only thing with this though, is that this door, you really got to throw it. Yeah, you can't be shy about it. Let's head back there. We get to the back and uh, <laughs> here I am. Uh, okay, ah, okay. <laughs> enough playing around. But we get to the back and it's massive. It's a big, tall square, rectangle. That's what you need <laughs> for something like this. Uh, so a couple of things. Yeah, I, again, that blue is nice. You do have, the tail lights are, these are just standard ones. You can get LED fancy ones uh, for, for the rear. Um, but yeah, I like the, the look of it. It's, it's a work truck. It really is a work van. And we have the nice Sprinter, again, with this being the cargo. We do have this blocked off. Passenger van is gonna give you a window so you could look out. And a couple of things, we have the nice uh, Mercedes badge there. And this one does have the tow option. So this gives you the 5,000 pound uh, towing capacity. So this does have uh, the hook up here, which is nice. Yeah, you could tow, yeah, you could probably tow me out with this. So uh, it would make a great uh, support vehicle or tow vehicle as well. Um, so we do have the option of going ahead and opening this up. And this does have the 270 degree opening. So as you can see, it really opens to get out of your way. Honestly, go for the option. Don't, don't waste your time on, on doors that open up less. Spend the extra money and get this configuration because as you can see, it's out of the way of anything that you may need to load up. Now this does have, let me try to hop in here really quick. So this does have a couple of things. Um, we are looking at, we do have the partition, the full width partition. Um, so between the cabin and the cargo area, it does have a window. I can see into the cabin, but the cabin cannot see into the cargo, uh, which is good. So that again, privacy for your merchandise uh, in here. This does have the sidewall paneling. This also has the wood floor with the D-ring configurations for you to tie things down. There is a ton of configurations for this. You can go with shelving. You can go with an AC unit or a cooling system up, up above here. It, it's just, there's, possibilities are endless. I forgot how many configurations someone mentioned that you can do for this, um, but it's nice. It's, it would be so awesome to have, you know, just a production, this as a production vehicle, what, filming on, on set, having this as a support vehicle for racing. You can fit a ton of tires. You can fit engines. You can fit parts, tools, the works really with this. And you're still riding in a Mercedes. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and hop in the front and go for a ride. You get inside of the Sprinter and this thing is ridiculous. It's, cr it's so much fun. It really is so much fun. So a couple of things. Uh, there is a ton of options for this Sprinter van. Interior and, you know, for, for the cab area and even crazier for the, the cargo area. But let's get started on what this one has. And I'll recall some of the things that I remember from when I was kind of building it out. So we get started on the door and the door is nice and comfortable. There's this kind of like higher area where you can put your arm on. It's really good. Uh, the lower part is really comfortable as well. <clears throat> the other thing with this is the mirrors. These mirrors are really, really good. Um, <clears throat> you know, their, their visibility is incredible in this thing. Even though as big as it is, it's really easy to see the dimensions of the, the van itself. And a couple of things. So this one does have the mirrors that fold in uh, so you control it right here we have your window switches here uh, we have the 
famous Mercedes on the door seat adjustments. Uh, I believe this is an option uh, for this one. Uh, you definitely want it because it's easy to kind of control your settings there. Um, and yeah, this thing, it's just really nice. The, the materials are a little more on the rugged side, so they're not super refined, but there are some nice refined uh, leatherette surfaces on that. Speaking about leatherette, the seats. So these things are really comfortable. I have really liked the the seating position, the material. So this is the leather red option. Um, and it's just been really, really good. We have a nice little armrest that we can kind of ratchet to a position that we want. Uh, and it's, it's good. Like I said, this is comfortable. I could drive this for days, really. Like that's how comfortable it is um, to be in this. <clears throat> now, this one doesn't have so there are ton, like I said, ton of options for the seats. There's some that you can rotate the seat to kind of get out. You also have like a suspension option. So if you're kind of, you know, going out in the country or something like that, uh, or just on unpaved roads, just really bad terrain, um, or just for comfort, it has a, a suspension system for the seat itself. Yeah, really nice. This does also have the heated option on them as well. Then we get over to the steering wheel and the steering wheel is Mercedes, but lower quality. Yeah, don't expect super fancy materials. This does have a plastic feel to it. Um, it's, it's a little more premium than just a plastic feel to it. Um, but the shape is nice, it's nice and comfortable. Um, the feedback is really good on, on it. And we have my favorite Mercedes buttons, yes. So we do have on the left-hand side, we, we have like that Blackberry little uh, kind of pad to it, which I really love uh, in Mercedes, which now apparently they've been getting rid of. Yeah, big, big mistake because this thing is actually really good. Yeah, we have the cruise control options on the left and then on the right-hand side, we're gonna have the controls for the infotainment. Again, we have that Blackberry kind of uh, joystick, so to speak. Uh, on there which is really really good to navigate something like the uh, Apple CarPlay system and we have my favorite the volume knob up and down and this is in black usually you have them in like a bright you know in a, in a brushed aluminum I kind of like the black so so if you have a Mercedes and you don't want that shiny piece you may want to be able to swap it out with the sprinter option that has this in black but yeah that's <clears throat> that's what we have on the wheel then we get over to the dashboard and the dashboard is really great actually so the dashboard has one two three four cup holders up here and we have our USB-C connection right in there that's where my phone is it's stored in there there also is an option to buy uh, to, to option this out with a cover so that gets covered there there is an opening for a 12 volt adapter there um, but it's currently, I guess this one wasn't optioned out with it, so it's just a plate there, uh, which what looks like a, a regular outlet as well. So I would definitely say get that because you only have two USB ports up there. And if you're running something like a GPS or a proprietary uh, you know, device for your company or whatever the case is, a tablet or something of the sort, and you wanna have more power, then definitely you're gonna wanna have that uh, 12 volt there to help out with powering that system but yeah that's really nice four four water bottles as I was four uh, cup holders as you can see I have my water bottle there then we come to the infotainment system and we have the MBUX yes we have Mercedes uh, user system which oh, cancel <laughs> so we can't say yeah we can't say the magic M word because it has the voice control it's not, eh, I don't like it. it. I haven't had any luck with it, but it's there. And this is the seven inch option. Uh, there is a 10 inch option, which you can see is significantly bigger. Go with that. Go with that because it's definitely going to give you the better option um, for a wider screen, have more uh, things visible. But yeah, this thing has been really nice. Again, very similar to what we've had in other Mercedes. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, okay, it didn't catch it. But yeah, we even have like the engine power, the horsepower, the torque, like all those settings. It's 
it's hilarious it's awesome i love this um but then we also have you know just kind of the same user interface that we did in the other uh m cars we'll call them like that uh but yeah we we have that and a little bit lower we have some quick buttons we have for the uh, camera system we have which is really really good this camera system is incredible it's super clear it makes things easy to uh you know access to it would make the button makes it easy to access makes everything easy to park make sure that i can visually see what the dimensions are of the van so i really really love this and again this the this smaller screen is nice the bigger one would be perfect for this we have this volume uh, knob here or switch which is really nice touch uh, and again we just have some other things there we have a couple of cubbies for devices in here uh, that you can put and yeah that's I mean this is this little area here is really nice touch and and again the black trimming I, I don't know if I'm liking this more than the typical Mercedes mm, uh, <laughs> yeah than the typical M car uh, kind of vents these black look nice even though they are like yeah plastic uh they just look really really good on a black car would be a nice touch we come down here and we have the ac controls very simple very straight to the point uh you know you have your temperature here and you have the um the fan speed there so it is a really nice touch to this we come down here and we have an additional four cup holders yes there's even more cup holders here for this van yeah so you won't get thirsty <laughs> driving this thing around then we get to the back and yeah so this one has the option of the divider wall so to speak and with the privacy glass here so you cannot see into it but when you're inside you can see out of it uh, which is good you don't want peeping eyes looking into your cargo area but yeah this is nice it's so comfortable it's so smooth then when we get to the cargo area wow there is a ton of space there is a massive amount of space and the outfitting options on this is ridiculous you have so many things that you can outfit this with um again just some of the things we mentioned the floor with the with the hooks the uh the panels on the walls um you know you that this one has then you have the option for the shelving you have the option for the cooling the ac units that you can install up up top it's just ridiculous so any business you have or any type of cargo you're you're wanting to kind of haul or deliver this you can outfit this to support that it's crazy it's so it's so awesome yeah it, it's it's pretty awesome now let's talk performance we're dealing with the 3.0 liter v6 turbo diesel engine it is cranking out 188 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque it is connected to the auto and then to the rear wheels now with this you do have the option for a 4x4 model that's probably my ideal setup uh, i'd probably want to have that 4x4 uh, option um just because it, it, it's kind of cool as far as engines we do have a four cylinder gas we have a six cylinder gas and we have a six cylinder turbo diesel like this one now as far as me having this for the week it's been interesting it's been interesting i've been picking up my kiddo in it and uh, from school and he loves it literally he asked me dad how much does this cost a month to buy <laughs> and i told him uh it, it's about a thousand you know if you go 60 months so it's about a sixty thousand uh, dollar vehicle the way that this one is equipped it can go higher it can go lower um but he goes oh okay and i said why he goes because this is kind of cool <laughs> the funny thing is i didn't think he was gonna like it I, I really did not think he was gonna like this, um, but he loved it, and it, it's really, it's really a different vehicle from our usual to review. I was a little skeptical, but at first I was like, oh, "Why do I have this to review?" But now I know why. It's just really nice. It's a really nice work vehicle to have. If if I were to kind of be stuck in one of these, uh, you know, to go on road trips, dude do some work in it 
I'd be happy. I'd be happy compared to others, obviously. Still, it's work, but yeah, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty nice. But that turbo power, yeah, it's pretty good. It, it kind of get, gets up there. Let's see if we can switch over to the Mercedes. Oh, don't switch, turn on, okay. <laughs> the ridiculous thing though with this is the turning radius is really, really good. I've been able to get this in the tightest of spots. The turning radius is ridiculous. I don't know how they're able to get this big truck to turn the way that it does. But <clears throat> yeah, it, it really does. It's a pretty nice truck. It really is. So let's see if we can, from a stop, Okay. <laughs> we got some movement. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. The brakes are really good. I do like the feel of the brakes that this has. Uh, the pedal feels spectacular. It really does. But yeah, this has been ridiculously exciting and fun. And it's been a hell of a week. What's crazy too is there's just so much space. Like you could stand, you could literally stand up and not have to hunch down. It's those little things with this having the you know the really tall roof. It's those little things that are gonna make a difference um, from an everyday use of a vehicle like this for work. It really is. Now, what would I do with something like this? Hmm. Honestly, I would probably go with. Uh, I believe it's the crew van. So there's there's three major things with the Sprinter. There's the cargo, which is straight up just work, you know, these two seats, and we have the storage area in the back. Then we have the cargo, or the crew, sorry, the crew uh, trim, which is these two seats, and, a, and this is opened with a bench behind. So it'll seat five people, and then the rest is storage. I like that because it's literally the middle of the road one because then the other one is the the uh, passenger van which holds 12 people and I don't need to haul around 12 people but if you do it's an option um, and uh, again I, I personally don't need to haul 12 people so I would essentially be taking the back seats out which and then I have to store them somewhere just yeah middle of the road a uh, crew van is my way of going turbo diesel because this engine apparently it's undestructible <laughs> um, and then you also have the uh, 4x4 option and you can raise it it has stiffer suspension options um, you know for that off-road uh, just adventure that you may want to have but I, I think that's how I would definitely fit this out well guys I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. Yeah, I, I still can't get, I still can't believe I'm reviewing this. Remember, find the right gear. See ya.